Have you been dreaming about early retirement? Well, this past weekend there was an in-app exclusive for Taco Bell super fans who are always looking to live moss in whatever way they can. This weekend was all about putting away the phones and laptops and aging up into some early retirement glory at the cantinas, Taco Bell's early retirement community. We're gonna be here all weekend long and I'm gonna take you along for every step of the way. Early retirement awaits, so let's get going. So I just got a tour of this amazing Taco Bell experience here and I am personally ready for early retirement. I've got like a little mesh shirt on so that tells you how ready for retirement I am. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a tour of the place. We've got some activities lined up. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me all weekend long for all of the different events I'm gonna go to to eat all the food that I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna show you my little swag bag that I got here. It's a little like Taco Bell Cantina's early retirement bag. Oh, I got a little hat. I was actually concerned because I didn't bring one. <laughs> Gym socks, they say retiree. Ah, a little like ascot type thing. Fanny pack. That's gonna be important today. Sunglasses too. You guys are gonna have to tell me how they look because there's no mirror here. Yeah, all right, I am so excited. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Let's retire. Let's retire early, we deserve it. They did an amazing job decking this place out. It feels very old school. It feels like your grandma lives here. I'm gonna act like your grandma all weekend long. They even have Werther's candy. They've got a little bowl full of Werther's over there. Let's go take a tour though, I'll take you guys with me. We are starting at the front of the Cantina's retirement community, Taco Bell's exclusive retirement community for young people. Um, or people of all ages really, but most people here are young. So I'm gonna take you guys inside of the cantinas here. We've got the, uh, we've got the uh, big purple carpet that's rolling out for us, thank you so much. Uh, we're gonna go inside to kind of like the lobby area of the cantinas. This is where you can check in and um, a lot of people are staying here tonight and retiring here all weekend, so. And then over here, I'm gonna show you guys. We have this, uh, cantina's like bass wall with all these basses. If you push this button over here, they do sing, they come to life. It's terrifying and amazing. And then if we come down the hall over here, we're gonna go to a room called the Sundries, which is um, kind of like a Taco Bell thrift shop. So they've thrifted a bunch of different um, items and then made them Taco Bell themed. So I'll give you guys a little tour over here. Everybody who comes this weekend is able to get like one item from in here. So they have, they're all thrifted, but then they're Taco Bell themed. They've got hats, um, also some more like little staging areas over here. They've done a, such a great job and they do have a dressing room as well. So everyone has a token. I'm gonna pick up mine in a little bit, but right now I'm gonna finish this tour with you guys. And now kind of the most important part is where are we gonna eat? right? Or are we going to eat Taco Bell all weekend? Because that's the point. It's not the only point, but we definitely want to have a lot of Taco Bell to eat this weekend. So this is the Live Moss Lounge. They're currently getting ready for lunch, so there's no food in here right now, but they just kind of took off a bunch of uh, different snacks, I snack items, but in the next like 20 minutes or so, it should be filled for lunch. There's board games in here. There's places to lounge. It's air conditioned. Um, it feels very retro, very like 60s, 70s themed, maybe 70s. So this is kind of like an outdoor lounge area. There's a great view of the whole golf course, which you can golf at. So there's a little like fire pit, just different tables and things that you can just kind of lounge, eat your Taco Bell. And then over here, they're going to do like live painting or something, just retirement activities, Taco Bell bungalow. So I think that's where people are staying. They also have a pickleball and aerobics classes. You can go to the driving range. Also over here, they have another dining hall that has like a beautiful view. People are like making um, crafts in here, like bracelets and stuff, but it has a great view of the golf course. We're gonna try to do as much as we can and bingo tonight. Bingo's coming, that's what I'm most excited for. So without further ado, let's, let's eat. And that concludes our tour for now, but with all this Taco Taco Bell, I'm starting to get hungry. So we're gonna head over to the Live Moss Lounge for some lunch. First Taco Bell meal. We've got a Cantina Crunchy Taco, a Grilled Cheese Cantina Burrito, the Cantina Bowl, and Chips and Guacamole. I'm in heaven. This is Disneyland for me, guys. I also have a whole bowl right here. It's ready to go. Look at that. I love the chicken cantina grilled cheese taco or whatever. Freaking love it. 
This one was once you don't forget this because it was so creepy. Yeah. My hair off. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have any idea what this is going to be like. So I'm like, wait. The cantina bowl here. I feel like the secret with the cantina bowl is to get a side of chips. Because then it's just like a fun time. And fire sauce always, of course. I mean, I am in heaven right now. That's for you guys. I made that one. A delicious lunch. I can't even wait for dinner. I'm already excited. I haven't even finished eating and I'm like, more Taco Bell's coming later. If you would have asked me when I was five years old, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? I'd be like, can I just eat Taco Bell? We're here. We've made it. And after we're filled up with that good, good Taco Bell, it's time to check out some of these early retirement activities at the cantinas. So we're here at the first activity we're going to do today, which is pickleball. I have been wanting to play pickleball for years, but I can never find anyone to play with. Thanks, Taco Bell, for setting that up. Like a retiree, we've got our specialty paddles, and I don't know how to officially win pickleball, but I'm going to do it. That is my plan. So you just finished pickleball. That is... Not as um, relaxing as it looks. I'm drenched. And this is all I have to wear right now. And there's like six more hours and I'm supposed to go golfing? I don't know, you guys. That was very, very fun, but very tiring. Due to the immense physical exertion, I decided to delay golfing until tomorrow and relax at snack time during the brisk tea time. It's like snack time, so I got the strawberry cinnamon twists. There are Baja Blast twists as well, but they were out of them when I went. And I'm too tired from pickleball to wait. The strawberry ones are really good though. With snacks in the system, it was time to do a little wandering and a little lounging while we waited for dinner. Before then, we checked out some Taco Bell super fans doing the live paint session. And then, just like that, it was time for dinner. All right, we got another dinner feast now. We've got chips and cheese. Uh, this is a Gordita Supreme. It's only back for in a couple locations. So we're getting that tonight. Uh, black bean cantina taco. I went vegetarian. We got a seven layer burrito here. What's the other one? There's two burritos? The beefy five layer and the seven layer. The beefy five, oh, okay. So we have a beefy five layer and a seven layer, which is vegetarian. Always fire sauce. And with another Taco Bell feast in the books, it was time for the activity I was most looking forward to. Bingo. I don't know why bingo is only reserved for old people and church groups, but I think it's wrong. We all love a bingo. This was hosted by some of the legendary folks from Retirement House, and even though I didn't win any of the Taco Bell prizes, I feel like I won because I got to participate. And yes, that is a thing that losers say. So that concludes day one of early retirement, and I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel, but I am completely exhausted. Time for sleep. Good morning. It's time for day two of the Cantina's Taco Bell event. I'm exhausted, but I am so excited because I'm getting more Taco Bell today. I think I'm gonna crochet. I'm retired. This is all I'm doing today. And before we get going, it's time for some Taco Bell breakfast. Believe it or not, this is my first time trying Taco Bell breakfast. I've never done it, I know. I'm like embarrassed. I'm really excited. I, I've never had Taco Bell breakfast. <laughs> I did immediately just Dan a video of me opening the set of the lights. This is ridiculous. These are literally the perfect size for okay, breakfast. Yeah. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't need a giant ass no breakfast burrito. There's nothing. You do have a breakfast hankering. You also get the breakfast crunch wrap. That yeah. does seem like the thing that I have learned most from this trip is that Taco Bell breakfast is really good. And the breakfast salsa? What? I've been sleeping on this for years for years? I mean, it's just like a simple breakfast burrito, but it's the perfect size and the eggs are really good. Okay, so now it's time for the rest of the day and I have a lot of activities I wanna do, but first I have to use my token at the sundries where I got this cool hat as well as a windbreaker that I'm completely obsessed with. And with time running out in retirement, I got a lot of activities to do. We just finished pickleball again, second place. How do you feel about it? I feel so tired. He feels so tired. I know, we almost won. We did. Twice. I feel like an emotional winner. Yeah, it's an emotional win. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So there's more pickleball happening, and then I get a golf lesson at the driving range. I can hit a ball now, go figure. Hit up the crochet where I learn I actually am a total failure. And then to pick myself back up again, I do Baja Blast aerobics with jeans on. And before I go, I have to spill some tea on the Taco Bell phone line. Listen, you don't know me, 
and I don't know you, but I do. And I'm gonna need nine chalupas, seven cheesy gordita crunches, and a nachos bel grande delivered to my door by 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. Don't forget the fire sauce. <laughs> And unfortunately for me, the journey ends a little early where I have to head back to reality. Well, I have decided to end my retirement early and get back to work, uh, mostly because I gotta edit these videos because someone needs to see this. So I had a great time. I, I wanna thank the people at Taco Bell for an amazing weekend out here in beautiful San Diego. It's just a little revitalizing boost I needed to, uh, to get back to my life. I had a bunch of fun playing pickleball. I drove a golf cart. I learned how to hit a golf ball. That's gonna cost me a lot of money in the future because now I'm obsessed with golf. I ate a lot of Taco Bell. Dreams achieved there. And met a lot of great people, a lot of Taco Bell super fans, some great friends, uh, great relationships will come out of this, this weekend. So really grateful for that whole experience. And um, yeah. That's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did and want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe, like it. You know what to do. It's just, it's dumb even asking, but I got to do it. And uh, we'll be back with some more content very, very soon. Have a wonderful day in the universe. Eat a cookie.